Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites for the month of May. I have a lot of stuff, like a lot more than I thought I would. And we're gonna dive into some athletic wear and accessories, a lot of fun stuff. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. The month of May was a hard month, I think, for everybody. I'm so happy that it's over. We're getting into summer. The weather's getting warmer, and I've just... <sighs> That's all. <laughs> so I want to start off with my channel of the month. I discovered this channel about a month ago and I've been absolutely obsessed. I've totally bought into her channel and that is Britt Clark. If you guys aren't familiar with Britt Clark, you guys need to go check her out, be a part of her britches. <laughs> no, but she is seriously so entertaining. She does beauty videos, but of course I watch her more so for the entertainment purposes just because she's such a cool person. So funny, so real. You guys will really love her. I've been thoroughly entertained by her channel while I've been stuck at home and I think that you guys will as well. So make sure you go subscribe to her channel, check her out, tell her that I sent you and yeah. So let's start off with my beauty makeup kind of products and the first thing that I want to talk about is a concealer that I changed my mind on. I used to really not like this concealer. I said it was very dry and I think now that it's summer my under eyes aren't so dry and I've of course been using eye cream and all of that good stuff. I've actually been really into the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Like I said I used to extremely dislike it. I just thought it was so dry. It made my under eyes look really crepey and just not good. You know I'm 24 years old. I shouldn't look that way. But now that it's summer, I don't know, lately I've been absolutely loving this concealer. I've been using it nonstop. I feel like it's very lightweight. You put a little bit of powder on top of it and it just stays in place all day. It doesn't crease. I have no issues with it. It doesn't look crepey on me anymore for whatever reason. But I just thought I would update you guys on this because I actually have been loving it. This is in the shade number five. It's been a really great concealer for me. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. But it, you know, if you have more dry under eyes, I don't think I would recommend this for you. But I've just been liking the mattifying properties of it lately because it's just been staying in place and looking really good. At the beginning of this month, I reviewed the Dior Summer Games collection and honestly, you guys, I cannot get enough of it. I don't know what it is about that collection, but I love every single item that I purchased from that collection. So I'm going to kind of go over the items once again and kind of tell you how I've been using them, how I've been enjoying them. So they came out with a Minerals Nude Bronzer. They have a lighter one and then a deeper one. I think that the deeper one is probably more suited towards my skin tone. It would make me look more bronze. And this one that I have, it's in the shade number one. And really, this is only going to work for very fair skin tones. And I have to say, it's very, very pink. That's the thing about this, but I kind of like that because it's different. So today I used a regular brown kind of bronzy bronzer and I actually used this on top to add more of a pink element to tie together the pink in my lips, on my cheeks, on my eyes. And I just have really been enjoying this powder. The powder itself is soft and silky and even though this is very, very pink. I just think adding a touch of it is something different and unique and I really like it. So I've been enjoying this a lot, surprisingly. And then also the two best things from this collection, if you ask me, are the blushes. I think they are the most gorgeous color. They have a very natural sheen to them as well. So there's a pink one here. I think it's called Pink Pong. It's not written on the back. And then there's a more coral one. I can't remember exactly what this one is called, but these are beautiful colors, a beautiful formulation. I'm wearing the peach one right now. It has a very subtle golden glow to it. It looks beautiful for bronzy looks. And I just think these are really perfect for summer. I've been grabbing for these blushes a lot this month. I haven't been grabbing for this quite as much, but I really enjoyed it. And I did want to shout it out again. This is one of the quints that they came out with in the shade Sprint. I have another one which is more blues and pinks. I passed on picking that one up just because I know I'm not going to use it. This one I absolutely love. I just think it is the perfect quint for summer if you want to add washes of color to your eye makeup. So if you are scared of color but you want to step outside of your box, this is perfect. This isn't really pigmented and that can kind of throw you off at first. But once you realize that this is just supposed to give you a wash of the color, you will really enjoy it. And the look that I did today was I mostly used 
the pink in my crease and I used the orange just to wash a bit all over my entire eyelid and I added a touch of the dark brown just for a little bit of definition. I just love pairing this collection together as a whole because these blushes just pair so beautifully with whatever you do with this quint. So because my lid is orange, the more peachy shade matched perfectly with it. I also could have gone with the pink because it perfectly pairs with the pink as well. So I think that if you are looking for a way to kind of mix up your makeup routine and you want to step outside of the box without being too uncomfortable, this is a really great way to add some washes of color to your makeup. I feel very comfortable with this quint. I just think it is awesome. But just be aware, if you're into really pigmented shades, you might not like this, but I really like how sophisticated this looks and how it's colorful, but not. Also earlier this month, I filmed a luxury makeup haul of items that I purchased from Neiman Marcus. And let me just explain something really quick. Y'all have been getting on me about my low buy. And here's the thing, I just want to reiterate what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. So I am on a low buy, but the low buy is more about me not purchasing things just for myself. Basically, behind the scenes, what my problem was, was I would order any makeup that caught my eye and I would use my channel as an excuse to purchase it and then I would never actually even use it, nor did I have the intention of doing it a video. I just kind of wanted it. So for my low buy, I've restricted myself to just purchasing things that are getting a full dedicated review and I've done a good job of actually keeping it to that like there's a lot of releases so yes I've been buying a lot of makeup but I'm not buying any more makeup behind the scenes like the stuff I buy you know I bought it because I actually featured it on my channel and at this point like YouTube is kind of a side job for me so it is important that I buy products to bring you guys content I like to review things I'm a review channel so yes I am continuing to purchase makeup items but what you see is what I bought I'm not buying things for fun as I was before. I will say though, that money though has been going towards other things, but I'll get into that later. But I did pick up from that haul. This was kind of my last hurrah of items that I purchased for myself because I wanted them. And I ordered a couple of Chantecaille blushes and I really love Chantecaille. I want to get into them, but not all at once because there's just it's a lot of money. It's not really cheap and they aren't a brand I talk about too much on my channel So I don't feel the need to purchase everything they come out with But I heard so many amazing things about these blushes and they also just looked incredible that I had to pick a couple up So I picked up bliss and unfortunately I have used them So they're not as pretty with their overspray anymore, but they still are a stunning formula This one's gonna be better for more fair skin tones, but it's just a beautiful soft flush on my cheek I really like it and then I also picked up emotion which is the B one This one's a little bit more coral kind of more my style but I absolutely love both. I love the formula and I'm not going to pick anyone up because of my low buy but I'm very happy with these blushes. You guys were right. They are incredible. An eyeshadow quad that I fell in love with this month. I bought it during the Sephora VIB sale and this is the Charlotte Tilbury quad in the Bella Sophia. The first time I put this on my eye I was like ooh that's really nice. If you like kind of bronzy sort of eyes you are really going to enjoy this. This glitter is a amazing. It's one of my favorite glitter shades from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm very picky with her shades. Those pop shades, I'm not a huge fan of, but every now and then one will actually catch my eye and I will really enjoy it. And this one is one of them. I just... <sighs> This bronze smoky eye that I get from this, I just love it. I cannot put it down. If I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't have to, you know, put, try different products and wear different products every day to play and experiment with, this would be a go-to everyday palette for me. Absolutely, 100%. Have been loving this. I know, don't yell at me about my Charlotte Tilbury ranking not being out. I am taking my sweet time. I am trying on all of the quads. I'm filming mini tutorials with them. It's coming. We're underway. I would say I'm about 70% done. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to lips. If you've been reading my descriptions all month, I have been trying out different combos from Wayne Goss. So I kind of picked out my favorite products thus far that I've tried and I absolutely love his lip liner, you guys. I just think they're a lip liner. They do what a lip liner does. They're not really that creamy, which I prefer because that actually makes the lip liner stay in place. So I've been enjoying three in particular, which is almost the whole line because there's five, but I just think they're amazing. So we have natural berry and this one is kind of like my lip color maybe a sh half a shade lighter but it just goes with everything you can just put a gloss on top of it and you're good to go and then when I do want something a little bit deeper I will go for mauve this one I really like as a my lips but better bring out my lips into my look and not have them hide I really like that one and then if I want something really deep and you guys know I prefer more of like a warm brown kind of lip this kind of 
transforms the shade to make it a little bit more brown for me to my preference. So this is Sapia. I've been loving his lip liners. I think they're the best things about his collection in my opinion and I've been grabbing for these three non-stop because they're just good essential colors. And then my two favorite lipsticks that I've been enjoying, I like a lighter nude lip with a darker lip liner. That's kind of my jam and so the two I've been going for are Camellia and Daisy. When I want something a little bit more peachy kind of colored, I will go for Camellia. Yeah, this is kind of a my ideal or closest to my ideal kind of nude lip. I feel like it goes with a lot of different looks for me. And then Daisy right here is a little bit more of a pinkier color. So when I want something more pinky, I will go for Daisy. But these two are definitely my most used lipsticks from the line. Again, Camellia and Daisy. So when they restock, I do recommend these two colors. They're my favorite. I also have another lipstick collection that I have been grabbing for a lot and that is from House of Siage. So they were kind enough to send me a couple of packages to try their products out. And guys, I am in heaven because I've wanted to try their stuff out for so long, but I just, I wasn't sure if I could justify purchasing that if I should have put my money towards other things for my channel. So I was so excited when they reached out. I am so grateful and I'm just going to share with you some of the products that I've been loving and I really enjoy their lipsticks. Now if you aren't familiar with House of Siage, what they're kind of known for are these or claim to fame I suppose are their lipstick holders. So I did receive a mystery vault from them and in that mystery vault this was so incredible. I received one of these lipstick cases and if you don't know how it works you just pop a lipstick in and they're interchangeable with all of her other colors the catch here is of course they're very pricey they're 200 something but you don't need to purchase these to get their lipsticks. You can still buy them individually. But of course, if you want that house of sillage luxury experience, you need the lipstick case. It is so beautiful, you guys. I believe it's lined with Swarovski crystals. So I have this beautiful Tiffany blue one that came in my mystery box. I also have this yellow one, which is really fun for the summer. I mean, I'm not gonna say you need the lipstick cases because it would be a bit of a frivolous purchase, but for like Mother's Day or if you're gifting yourself a birthday present, some, like an occasion is when I would get these because they really do make the experience very, very elevated. But those aside, the lipsticks, really, really good. I have been loving the shade Countess. That is what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of an everyday kind of baby pink color. I think it's really fun for summer. So this is my absolute favorite lipstick from them. Countess, the best. I'm wearing the Natural Berry Lip Liner from Wayne Goss underneath. And then also some good ones. A fun one for summer is Queen. This is like a red hot pink color. I think, you know, if you're looking for a bright lip, that's a great one. We also have a couple nudes here as well. Baroness is a beautiful, shiny, pinky nude kind of color. They are very creamy and they do have a shine to them, which I like. And then the other one that I love is Night. So Night has a little bit more deepness to it compared to Baroness, but I just, I really enjoy their lipsticks. So even without the lipstick case, I really like the colors. But of course, if I can pop them into a lipstick case, oof, I love it, that whole experience amazing. I might as well share with you also in the mystery box. I got a perfume in the shade or in the shade in the scent whispers of time. They have a beautiful perfume collection and again Mother's Day gift, birthday gift, anything like that. Look at this beautiful cupcake packaging. It's great. The Whispers of Time is a kind of citrusy scent. Perfect for summer if you're looking for that. Really nice. So luxe, you guys. Just beautiful. Had to share it with you. And then also they have candles. Their new summer scent is by The Lagoon. This is so beautiful. I haven't lit it yet because it just looks so beautiful, pure, clean, and white. But I'm actually just gonna put this behind me. Really excited for that scent because I love candles. I don't talk about this a lot, but I love candles and that's going to be a really great summer scent. I guess last kind of makeup -y item that I have to share with you. It's sunscreen. There's nothing special about it, but that's why it's so good because it just kind of is. And this is the Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50 sunscreen. I just like this because I feel like it's good for sensitive skin. It's affordable. I purchased it off of Amazon. It's a Korean brand made in Korea. You guys, this is just so good. It doesn't have a really strong scent. It's almost unscented. There is a little something there, but virtually it's pretty unscented. It sinks into the skin so fast. It 
almost feels like just a moisturizer, just a part of your skincare routine underneath the makeup. So I love this underneath makeup. I have this sitting by my front door for when I go work out or I go for a run, I go for a walk. I'll put this all along my decollete and everywhere. I just think it's a really nice solid sunscreen and there's nothing fancy about it. It just does what it needs to do and I just love how moisturizing it feels on my skin and how it's no issue, not even there. You just put it on and you go. And no white cast, by the way, that's important. So that's all I have for the makeup favorites. If that's all you're interested in, feel free to <laughs> exit now. But I do have kind of some hairstyle, clothing, accessories that I did want to share with you guys because like I said, on my low buy, I haven't been purchasing as much makeup. But let me tell you that money has gone to clothes. I've been buying so many clothes, so many accessories. So I just want to share with you some of my favorites. But one thing I want to show you is from Amazon. It's for the hair. I've talked about it a little bit on my Instagram, but I bought the sleep styler and Kelly Gooch put me onto this. Now Kelly has beautiful hair like just so thick and luscious and shiny and her hair turns out looking amazing using this. You guys know, I got some frizz. I have like really wavy hair and it doesn't turn out as beautiful as hers does, but I've been loving this as an alternative to putting heat on my hair just because I am on camera basically every day. So I do want to look nice in my videos and this has been a great way for me to not put heat on my hair as much. There is a slight learning curve to this, so I'm still kind of figuring out what works the best. So my hair doesn't turn out perfect, but it certainly looks a lot better than it would look <laughs> if I didn't have this. And so what you do, sorry, I forgot to mention this. <laughs> Here's how it works. Basically, and I didn't use it today, but I've used it in the past couple of videos. It's like a pillow material, what's it called? Memory foam core. And you're supposed to put it on your hair and be able to sleep with it. It's still not the comfiest to sleep in, if I'm being honest. I think it's better to wear it throughout the day rather than going to sleep. But I film in the morning, so I just do it at night anyways. But what you do do basically is you just get your hair it's damp you wrap it around and then you tie it up this is a horrible example <laughs> and you wake up and you have curls in your hair and it works way better than I thought it would like I said I don't have like a perfect blowout freshly curled hair kind of look but it looks better than my natural hair and that's what's important I got mine in the large size because I do have long hair and it gives you bigger curls I also have a smaller size for shorter hair but I really have been enjoying this a lot also something that I don't talk about a lot but I think you guys are starting to catch on I absolutely love jewelry I love cute necklaces I love cute earrings I do like rings and bracelets but I can't really wear them because they make too much noise <laughs> in my videos but I got really bored one day during quarantine like I was going stir crazy so I went to Target and I bought earrings and it made me feel so much better and uh, I want to share with you the three pairs that I just absolutely have been loving so the first one is the one that I'm wearing right now and I mean they're affordable $13 so I have this really simple coral earring which I thought would be very pretty for the summer it looks really great with a coral lip coral blush anything like that so I've been loving it it's a really fun pop of color this is kind of more simple every day this was only eight dollars it's just this clustered pearl type of earring. Really adorable. And then this one I wore in yesterday's video and you guys were asking me where I got them from. Target and they are these beautiful like star earrings. And I wasn't too sure about purchasing these at first but I'm really, really obsessed with them. I think they're so gorgeous. They're only $13. They're so fun. I'm in love with them and only $13. So I love the jewelry at Target. They have such cute on-trend earrings, bracelets, necklaces, all of that. I love costume jewelry. I'm not at the point in my life where I can afford pure gold, but I just love playing around with fun earrings and stuff. So I like my jewelry relatively affordable. So while I've been at home, obviously, I'm wearing a lot of loungewear, which if I'm being honest, isn't far off from what I wear day to day at my job. If you aren't aware, I'm a PE teacher, so I dress comfy every single day. I love dressing cute. You guys know that. On the day today, I like wearing comfy clothes. This is my first year of teaching and honestly, my wardrobe was not cute. So while I've been sitting at home, not spending money on makeup, your girl has been buying workout clothes like crazy. So I've also just been working out a lot more because I'm not used to being so sedentary. I just have so much energy. I work out every day. When I was working, I didn't work out every day because I was tired, <laughs> but now I have nothing but energy. I'm not used to sitting on my butt all day. So working out has been really important for me. It's been helping me a lot. So 
So I've been rewarding myself with buying workout clothes and I figured I can really justify it because these are things that I'll actually be able to wear to work. So I've been on the search for the perfect legging. I'm refreshing my entire legging collection because I've had the same leggings since middle school and the fit is not right. And let me tell you, legging technology has improved so much over the years. And the brand that I've just discovered, and it's not a new brand, but oh, I've completely bought in. It is Fabletics, you guys. Incredible workout clothes. Very, very cute. Absolutely obsessed with them. I need to thank Paige from Seeking Alexandria for being the final step for me to just bite the bullet. She was talking about something that she was wearing and I was like, all right, I'm done. Hit the referral code. So thank you, Paige, for making me a crazy Fabletics addict. Uh, also, before I show you the things that I purchased from Fabletics, American Eagle has the best kind of lounging leggings. I've been working out in them, but I don't really think they're that good for working out. They're more thin and loungy, but they're perfect if you're really short, you guys. I'm only 4'9", so they have lengths. So I buy the 7 8 legging and I get the short length and they are perfect on me. So if you are really petite like myself or even really tall, they have short, regular, and long, and the leggings are so comfy. Literally the comfiest I've ever worn. Maybe not workout leggings, but I mean, if I'm doing like light workouts, I'll wear them. They don't fall down. They're so comfy. You can do anything in them. I bought one color. It's in the wash. Otherwise, I would show you. So I have three more pairs on the way because American Eagle leggings, favorite lounging leggings. Perfect for you guys working from home. But let me show you my Fabletic stuff. Now this stuff, of course, it can be for lounging as well, but I do think they have heavy duty kind of stuff for working out and it's just so cute. I'm really excited to wear this stuff to work when I start going to work again because it's so cute and it's just a really fun play on athletic wear. So one of the leggings is in the wash, but it's these Demi Lovato pair. Really, really good. For Fabletics, you can also choose lengths as well and the length is perfect. That's another reason why I'm obsessed with it. And then I got these really cute pair of camo leggings. They have a little mesh here. Oh my gosh. So cute. They're high-waisted. Been loving these a lot. I've been loving this tank top. It's just like a neon lightweight tank top. Perfect for running in the summer. It's just so breezy and you need neon if you're running in the streets. I got this one. This one is a little bit off season, but I got it for obviously when I go back to work more so because it's a plain long sleeve, but it's got special like ruching on the side and it's long enough to cover my butt. And then I just got my second month's outfit, which by the way, it is $50 a month, but you can kind of pause it so that it doesn't charge you, but I definitely will be using my 50 bucks every month. Uh, this one is my favorite, you guys. So it's these cheetah print biker shorts. So obsessed. And then with it, it was a whole outfit that I bought for 50. You have this just muscle tank. Such a cute outfit, you guys. I'm really, really obsessed. Yeah, I mean, I knew about Fabletics for a while. My roommates in college were obsessed with them and I never bit the bullet, but I just feel like it makes sense for me too, considering my profession and just lounging at home, exercising a lot. If you've been thinking about it, I would totally do it. And a tip, that first purchase that you make when you initially join, buy as much as you can because I don't think you can get a better deal than that. It's incredible. So make sure when you make your account, you have money that you're ready to spend because you get such great cheap workout clothes, you guys. Such an amazing deal. I am going to put a referral link down below. Obviously, don't feel obligated to use it, but I think it's like I get $40 worth of credit and you guys get $40 worth something worth of credit. But if you do decide to join, I would really appreciate it. Listen, I'm a teacher. I don't make very much money. So if you do join and you use my link, you're helping me buy work clothes for me. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, last thing. This was a birthday gift and oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. I don't have too many designer purses. I'm a big cake spade fan, but I did just purchase my first Louis Vuitton uh, last summer. And so this is my next beautiful designer purse. This was gifted to me from my mom for my birthday when I turned 24. And it's just this beautiful taupey Gucci purse. I've been loving it. Um, obviously I'm not leaving the house very much to wear it. So I've been wearing it on my 
afternoon walks every day. I love it, you guys. It goes with so many of my outfits. It is just so cute. So special. So I think I've, I feel like I've talked your ear off. So I'm going to head out now. Let me know if you liked me also incorporating some fashion jewelry kind of things. I continue to plan doing it if you guys enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you consider taking the time to do so. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.